We got started back in uh, 1955. Uh, there was a, a small uh, hardware like, uh, like every uh, small town had, and uh, the owner was uh, retiring, and so I was looking for a job, and uh, I bought that, and we continued to uh, sell stoves and gas refrigerators uh, to the Amish people. And uh, for many years, uh, our main business was selling uh, uh, equipment that the Amish needed who didn't have electricity, uh, like uh, gas refrigerators and kerosene refrigerators, uh, kerosene stoves, cook stoves, uh, wood-burning cook stoves, coal-burning cook stoves. And uh, for 55 years now, we've been selling uh, uh, stoves, uh, not only the Amish, in fact, we now sell more stoves to the non-Amish than we do the Amish. And uh, we sell all kinds of other non-electric equipment uh, to the uh, people who need it, which includes Amish, but, but uh, like I said, uh, we actually sell more to non-Amish, uh, people who are off of the grid, uh, some who don't like to be on the grid, don't want to be on the grid, some who can't be on the grid, uh, people who live on uh, islands, uh, people who live in the mountains, hunting cabins, fishing cabins. Uh, there's really a, a lot of people. In fact, you'd be surprised how many people there are in the United States who don't have electricity. Uh, some who don't want it and some who can't get it. And it's those kind of people we serve. And we also sell a lot of things to missionaries overseas where they uh, don't have electricity and um, they buy things like primarily gas refrigerators and uh, hand-operated presses and grinders uh, what they buy uh, because they have no electricity and so they need exactly what an Amishman needs or anybody needs that doesn't have electricity. Probably the biggest thing uh, that's unique to us is the gas refrigerators and the kerosene refrigerators. There are very few places now that you can buy a gas refrigerator. Uh, in fact, we have for many years now sold over uh, a thousand gas refrigerators every year. So there is a real need out there, but if you go out and check at other appliance dealers, there's very, very few would have a gas refrigerator. In fact, most of them will tell you there is no such thing anymore. But, but for us, it's actually big business. Just recently, uh, a mother and her daughter came in and her, I heard her daughter ask, is this a store or is this a museum? Uh, a lot of the things that we have collected over the years, like the used stoves you'll see all around, are actually stoves that we traded in. When the people wanted to buy a new modern stove, they would trade their old one in. And uh, I really like those old stoves. They're very unique, they're, they're, uh, they're fine craftsmanship. And so we would trade those in, and in some cases we'd sell them, and in some cases we'd just to restore them and, and uh, set them up uh, as a display. And uh, all of the many other antiques you see around here, uh, some of them we traded in. Uh, we very seldom go to a sale to buy any, but most of them actually were brought in by people who know we collect them and display them, and they would uh, ask us, well, would you like to display this? Would you like to have this? Or I'll sell you this or whatever. And so uh, we, we, we don't go around the antique stores buying these things. We either trade them in or people bring them in. Um, and uh, we, we enjoy them and a lot of other people enjoy them too. Over the years, uh, we, we were sort of known as a place to buy things when you don't have electricity or, or to buy old fashioned things. And as people uh, got to know us, is that people who had cabins and remote uh, area houses off of the grid, somehow the word got out that layman's is the place to buy these things. And uh, um, so the word just sort of got out and, uh, uh, and we're sort of known, I think, all over the United States as the place to buy the things you need if you don't have electricity that you can buy under one roof. Now, a lot of these things you can, certain things you can buy at certain stores, but there's very few stores that have everything we have from, from the hand-operated grinder to the gas refrigerator. Um, and, and missionaries have often told us that there's no place that they know of that they can buy everything they need under one roof, like they can at our place. And uh, actually, uh, our business started really flourishing back in the 70s 
when there was an oil embargo on, and uh, everybody was concerned that they uh, wouldn't be able to have gas or maybe wouldn't be able to have electricity. And so the word got out that Layman's in Kittern has, has stoves, and we were, in fact, at that time, probably the only one that was still selling stoves. So all at once, it was known all over that if you want to buy non-electric things, you, you go to Layman's in Kittern. And so the word spread and the business has flourished. We actually, surprisingly, uh, a lot of the uh, current movies use some of our things for props, which was came as a complete surprise to us. All at once we start getting orders for uh, all kinds of lamps and lanterns and grinders and wheelbarrows and, and uh, uh, wooden barrels. Uh, and we found out that uh, the current the movie uh, companies need these for props. And uh, that was a surprise to me at least, but uh, the word got out among them that there again, that we have these things in stock and when they want to do a, a, sh a shot quickly, uh, all they do is call us and we'll get right out to them. And we do uh, special events and we, we do demonstrations on how to make butter and we demonstrate uh, uh, various uh, uh, various uh, things to, to make applesauce and uh, tomato sauce and the strainers that are used uh, and the apple peelers and uh, uh, we have different uh, people come in and demonstrate uh, making pottery, uh, making uh, baking things. We have a special room where where we demonstrate those things and put on special events and have people who are very knowledgeable on these things come in and do a uh, um, do a daily or do a, an event, especially on the weekend.